there lived a young man named Oluwasion. His love for Adeswa, the beautiful daughter of the village chief, born brighter than the midday sun. Their love was whispered about in the market stalls and sung by the river Nim. Listen to the story about Adeswa, the rejected one. In the heart of a small village nestled among the rolling hills of Nigeria, there lived a young man named Oluwasion. His love for Adeswa, the beautiful daughter of the village chief, born brighter than the midday sun. Their love was whispered about in the market stalls and sung by the river Nim. Oluwasion was determined to make Adeswa his wife, no matter the cost. One fateful morning, Oluwasion gathered his courage and approached Chief Adiola, Adeswa's father, the air was thick with anticipation as he stood before the chief. Beads of sweat forming on his forehead. The elders sat in a circle, their eyes sharp as oak, ready to witness the negotiation of the bright prize. Chief Adiola Oluwasion began, I come before you to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. My heart beat for Adesua, and I am willing to pay any price you demand. The chief eyes bore into Oluwasion's soul. Very well, he said, stroking his grey beard. The bright price is steep. You must bring me three fat goats, ten yams, tubers, and a cake of palm wine. Oluwasion's heart sank. He was a poor farmer, barely scraping by. But love knows no bounds, and he vowed to fulfill the chief demands. He told day and night, gathering the goods, yam and wine. His hand blistered, but his determination remained unyielding. On the appointed day, Oluwasion returned to Chief Adiola's compound. The villagers gathered, their whispers like the rustling leaves of the mobile tree. Adeswa stood beside her father, her eyes downcast, but her cheeks flushed with anticipation. As Oluwasion presented the gift, Chief Adiola's eyes twinkled. You have done well, young man, he said, but there is one final condition. You must spend the night in our ancestral hut. If you survive until dawn, Adeswa will be yours. The ancestral hut was said to be haunted, a place where restless spirits roamed. Oluwasion hesitated but nodded. He entered the dimly lit hut. They ate thick with ancient secret, the door crack shut behind him and darkness evolved him. Inside, he heard whispers soft, haunting voices that spoke of love, betrayal and sacrifice. The world seemed to pulse with memories and Oluwashan silvered 
he clutched the charm his grandmother had given him. A talisman to ward off evil spirits. As the night wore on, Oluwasun's resolve wavered. He heard footsteps outside and the door swung open. To his shock, it was not Adeswa who entered but her identical twin sister Ayumite. Ayumite's eyes held a secret, a fire that burned brighter than Adeswa's. You love my sister, Ayumide whispered, her breath warm against his cheek. But fate has other plans. Adeswa loves another, a warrior from a neighboring tribe. She begged me to take her place tonight. Oluwasion's heart raised. Why? Ayomide's lips rushed his. Because I love you. And in that forbidden embrace, Oluwasion realized that destiny had twisted their path. Ayomide was the one meant for him the one who stayed his soul and ignited his desires. As dawn approached, Oluwasun emerged from the ancestral heart. His heart torn between love and duty. Chief Adiola awaited him. Adeswa by his side, but it was Ayomide who stood in the morning light, her eyes filled with longing. Choose, Chief Adjola commanded. Oluwasion's voice trembled. I choose Ayomide. The village gaps and Adeswa wept, but Ayomide's mouth, her love unyielding, and so. Oluwasion married the sister fate had chosen for him, the one who held the key to his heart. Their love story echoed through the hills, a twist of faith that defied tradition, and in the quiet moment when the moon hung low, Oluwasion would whisper to Ayomide, our love is the true bright price. And so it was, a love forged in the shadow, a twist of destiny that forever changed their lives. Ayumide and Oluwasion's love blossomed like the vibrant hibiscus flower that adorned their village. They married under the golden sun their heart entwined and the villagers rejoiced, but fate had not finished weaving its intricate thread. Adeswa, the forsaken sister, seated with jealousy, her eyes once filled with innocence, now her bought darkness. She watched Ayumide and Oluwasion from the shadow, her heart a tempest of rage. She yearned for vengeance, a twisted love that consumed her. One moonless night, Adeswa sought the village witch, Mamisi, whose wrinkled skin held secret older than time. The air smelled of burnt herbs as Adesua knelt before the fire. Her desperation ate into her features. Mamisi, Adesua whispered, I grieve power, the power to reclaim what is rightfully mine. The love of Oluwasion, Mamisi's eyes glinted like obsidians. Love denied breathed darkness. She groaned. 
But be we, child, magic exact a price. At this one nodded, her resolve on yielding. Mamisi handed her a vial of midnight liquid, a potion brewed from moonflower petals and betrayal. Drink this, Mamisi instructed, and your heart desire shall be yours. Adeswa returned to her heart, the potion burning her throat. She felt the change, the surge of malevolence coursing through her veins. Her eyes glued like embers, and her touch seared like a branding iron. The next morning, Adeswa approached Oluwasion. My love, she quit, I have a gift for you. She handed him a woven bracelet, its thread infused with her newfound magic. Oluwasion accepted it on a way of the darkness with them. From that moment, his heart withered. Ayomi Day noticed the change. The way he lingered near Adesua, the stolen plans they shared. Ayomi they confronted Adesua. What have you done? She demanded. Why does Oluwasion's love falter? Adesua's laughter echoed like a banshee's cry. He is mine now. She hissed. The bracelet binds him. To me, our love will burn brighter than the sun. Ayomi they wept, her tears falling like rain on parched earth. She sought Mamisi, who revealed the truth. A bracelet was a curse, fueled by envy. To break it, Ayomi they must journey to the grave of forgotten whispers and retrieve a phonic's feathers. Ayomide's path was treacherous. She crossed thorny jungles, scaled cliff, and faced spectral guardians. At the grave entrance, she whispered her sister's name, and the rock parted, revealing the heart of darkness. Inside, Ayomide encountered the whispering shadows ancient spirit who whispered secrets of betrayal. They tasted her resolve, tempting her with illusions of Oluwasion's empress. But Ayomide pressed on, her love a beacon in the abyss. At the heart of the cave, she found the phonix, a majestic creature with fairy plumage its eyes held the universe wisdom. Ayomi Day plucked a feather, its warm shearing her fingertips. As she returned, Adesua's magic tightened its grip on Oluwasion. He grew weaker, forgetting Ayomi Day's touch. But Ayomi Day wove the phonic feather into a new bracelet. One that would break the curse. On the eve of the full moon, Ayumide confronted Adesua. Release him, she commanded, or face the rot of the phonix. Adesua laughed, her eyes aflame. He is mine, she declared. Ayumide clasped the new bracelet around Adesua's wrist. The curse shattered, and his memories flooded back. He fell to his knees, tears dreaming. Forgive me, he whispered to Ayomide. I was lost. At this was scream, a magic unraveling, the ground trembled, and the sky wept. The villagers watched in awe. As Ayumi Day and Oluwasion embraced, their love reborn 
from ashes and this will vanish into the night our faith sealed by envy and in the village square Ayumi there sang a haunting melody the same song she had heard from the singing skeleton love denied love reclaimed in the shadows deep our heart unchained for envy's cause we paid the cost but love prevails a tempest lost and so ayomi day and oluwasion dance under the moon their love stronger than any magic the village whispered their tell a twist thank you for viewing please subscribe like and share see you on another video bye for now